We live undergroundradar.com. It's your boy Jazz Wanna Supply. VVCradio.com. We in the building. I got the man. I've got the next up, aka he's certified out of here. You know what I'm saying? The pretty boy himself, yo. Ladies love him. And now I find out you you you, you the leader of the, you you the leader of the new school, man. You teaching the kids. You doing positive moves out here. I got Damon Blue in the building. How are you doing, sir? I'm blessed. Thanks for asking, man. Yo. Stage, I'm a little sweaty, so excuse my appearance. You know, this is what you do when you work hard on stage. You give it your all, come out looking like this, man. Blessings, go get it. Yeah, you come out with uh, jewelry, uh, expensive watches, and a lot of women. That's what happens when you blow up stages and you kill stuff. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So, my question to you, sir. Now, I've heard a little bird. They've been tweeting. They said you got an album coming out. They heard, They said... That you set up to really kill shit. I mean, like, is is this on? Is this true? Could I be lying? What's going on? No comment. For real? That's how we doing? That's how you? Gonna, that's how you gonna treat me today? All right. At the end of the day, you know, I'm just, I'm just doing what's in God's will. You understand what I'm saying? It's basically just, you know, what's planned for me, what God set out for me to do. So I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? This is my dream. This is what I want. So. I can't speculate, I can't talk about what people speculate, you know, I can only just do, you know what I mean? That's it. I don't know nothing else. Blessings. Blessings. <laughs> so look, now, over the last two years, you've had videos, you've been going toe-to-toe with some of the dopest people from the region, Fat Trout, you know what I'm saying, Kiss. I mean, you've had opportunities to do what some rappers spend their whole lives dreaming to do. And then, not only are you stepping toe-to-toe with these cats, but you murdering. You know what I'm saying? You coming out of there with respect. I mean, I'm quite sure niggas in the studio was giving you pounds like, all right, how does it feel? I mean, yo, come on, Damon, Golden Era, you know what I'm saying? You had your son on the cover, like, it was a different situation. Oh, I'm, I apologize. I apologize off that. I apologize. Yo, you had your... You had... Right. I, you know what I'm saying? But... You had your daughter, now you in a whole different place, bro. And I mean, you open it up for, I mean, the God, you know what I'm saying, the King. How does that feel? I mean, this journey, tell me about that. It's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? I believe in this theory, you become what you think about. You know, often I used to see, you know, my man King Los, I used to see him doing his thing, him and Scott, but they the people that I watched, you know, you know, help me develop some type of love for the music. You know, this experience is crazy. I'm all over the place. I did Rochester like two nights ago. It was crazy, stupid, you know what I'm saying? Packed crowd, you know, God Money War Tour. My man got the number one album. I'm gonna say number one. He number five on Bill Ward, he in the top five, but number one. You know, it's a blessing to actually be with somebody of that stature. And he actually a cool guy, you know what I mean? So it's a blessing in all that we doing, you know what I mean? I just want to keep working. I don't even pay attention, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm so busy in the studio. Blessings been done, you know what I'm saying? That been done. We all on to the next train. We going to something else because you can't slow down with this. I'm in it, you know what I mean? I'm in it. Shout out to the homie De Niro. Now, my next question is, and this is an important one for me. Like, when you get in the studio with these heavyweights, or even if you just get a chance to parlay, y'all might, you know, and partake in dinner or whatever, yo, what are you taking away? Or or what kind of gems have you been getting from these people, like, when you've been able to be in the room? All right. You got to do way more listening. You got to do way more listening. I learned that from Los. You know what I'm saying? You got to listen. It's more of a thing of catching their energy, just seeing how they work seeing the pace of what they do is inspiring you know some people don't get a bird's eye view it's not bird's eye view I'm like close up I'm paying attention I'm having conversations with them I'm smoking with them I'm bobbing with them I'm laughing so it's an experience you know what I'm saying it's not just a song people can hear the song at the end of that but it's actually a full experience you understand what I'm saying so it's a full experience and they teach you some things some people might not talk some people hey what's up you know what I mean whatever but all in all when you meet me yeah 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 gonna feel my aura you gonna understand like I'm I'm here for good reasons I'm here to turn up I'm here to put on for my city you know what I'm saying that's it simple and plain I don't have no other no other routes to take but up I've been down for too long you know what I'm saying for real all right now this is the last question because I ain't gonna hold you too long now this no no because I'm about to get into something we about to get into something real quick go ahead ask me some questions Talk about the world. The music is here. Cool. Blessings. Go get it. It's hot. Let's go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Blessings. Blessings. Talk to me about the world. Talk to me about the city. Talk to me about everything. But then get into the 
I'm, I, we, we, we pivoting that way. There's a, there's a process to the, to the, to the thing. All right, All right so. Cool. <laughs> now. Given the fact that you've had an opportunity to do all of these things that you've already spoken on, you know what I'm saying? And then we are artists. I mean, now we're, we're listeners and consumers and critics because I've been, been a harsh critic of your work in the past. Like, yo, what is the biggest thing you can say that you can tell us that you've learned from? Yo, going back, listening to Golden Era and then listening to the project that you just came out with and then listening to the, the Blessing CD. What have you stepped back and been like, yo, what the fuck? You know what I mean? I good things, that. bad. Th I want a good thing and a bad. Uh, it's for number one. It's not easy. You had to embody this, man. Like, and I'm still trying to figure it out myself. I'm still trying to step away from the lights that are, you know, that's negative. I'm stepping away from that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I got one leg in, one leg out, but it's not easy at all. It's not easy, bro. I'm telling you. So like when you say embodying, I mean, kind of, can you give us a breakdown? Cause um, dumb niggas like me, we don't, we may not understand because your journey is different. Can you give me an idea of how much you're embodying? You know, I mean, you know, what do you, how do you define it? Pure focus, pure focus. Is that just studio, or is that like everything in life? Everything. If your personal life is not in order, your finances, anything is not of that order, you won't be able to progress. You know what I mean? If your thoughts are bad, if you think negative. You know, that's why I always preach you become what you think about, you know. And written on my bathroom mirror, it said, successful hip-hop superstar. That's me. You become that. You know what I'm saying? So if your thoughts are bad, if you don't think on a higher level, then you will always be small. You will always not grow. You will always stay in that same position. So you got to continue to sharpen that sword of yours. You got to read. You got to learn how to keep the right people in your circle, people who really care about you. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the music. You know what I mean? That music is nothing. The music is don't compare to the love. Like my man Larry with up. Like like Mike Mack, like Naj, like 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 Ogon, my my man AC, like my family, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it nothing don't compare to that. So the music is one thing, but you have to be able to, to build a foundation that's unbreakable. Loyalty is everything. Right. All right, but you know, you got to circle outside of that immediate core. And then you go to the hood, you know what I mean? Because we all, we all from an urban area. This is Baltimore. Let's be real. When you're driving through and you go into the barbershop and you go into those places, yo, what are the biggest misconceptions that those guys have? Because I know you've changed and you've evolved. And they're probably like, nigga, what the fuck? This ain't the same. You know, I'm not saying that you've changed like a different person, but say, you might move differently. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say you can't move differently. You got to be yourself. I don't have no alter ego. I don't have no uh, gimmick or, or uh, uh, theory I got to follow. I'm just me. I'm just giving my story. I'm just talking. My father got killed when I was three. You feel me? My mother got shot seven times. And this is facts, my nigga. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I come from the bottom. I didn't ever had shit. You know what I'm saying? My mother worked hard, grinded hard for it. To make sure we were straight, but in the sense of learning things and having somebody in your family, somebody there that guides you, I didn't have shit. You know what I'm saying? So I just, you know, put positive people around me and continue to grow. Now, you've always, did you always have this mind frame or did, you, did this come from something else? Like, I, I'm trying to get to the core of it because you're trying to tell, yo, you trying to tell me you had this tight team the whole time. Two years old, it's always been you, V Dot, and you know what I'm saying? How do we get, you got to tell these, because there's young dudes that's listening. There's young dudes that's listening and they need to understand, like, how did we go from that to this? Um, uh, flat out, you just got to believe in yourself. And keep positive people around you, man. Believe in what you want. Believe it. You, you believe yourself the whole time. From the beginning, day one. Listen, I started rapping when I was eight years old. The girl lied to me and said her boyfriend worked for Def Jam. If you write a rap, he'll sign you. I even talked to the nigga on the phone, all that. I never knew how to write. Me and my best friend, God rest his soul, Eastside, you feel me? He, we, we sat at his mother's table and wrote our first rap. And from that point on, boom, it was over. Then Scar Akbar, that's one of my, that's one of my big, that's one of my big homies. You know what I'm saying? He kind of, you know, gave me a, a view of things. Then my man Tyree, Ogun, you know, I, you know, I, I just, I'm a humble dude. So at the end of the day, I always give props to those who, even if they ain't doing nothing now or they ain't grinding nothing. I'm not saying nobody ain't grinding. All I'm just saying, like, even if they're not a part of what's going on right now, it's, it, that always will be mentioned because I'm a real person. I don't have no, uh, I don't have nothing different, you know what I'm saying, I don't, this is me, you know, people are going to fall in love, you're going to love me and hate me, you're going to hate me, and whatever, 
You know what I'm saying? All right, look, I'm saying this right now, August the 5th. You know what I'm saying? VVCRadio.com. Y'all got to tune in, 9 p.m. I'm going to have Damon Blue in the studio. We're going to get into a more in-depth. I'm going to get some drink for him. We're going to get some chicken. And we got to talk about a, a certain review I did. You know what I'm saying? We have our disagreements. We're going to, nope, nope. We got to wrap it up. We got to wrap it up. <laughs> no, nah, because you ain't never going to come to the studio. I need to get this thing. Man, flat out, if you don't have blessings, go get it, man. You already know what it is, man. Jay want to supply you, man. He hold me down. We finally get the man I was about to, yeah, outside the sound stage. It's like, nah, that's my okay. brother, though. Okay. He was going to kill me. I'm like, nah. It's I my brother, though. Everything. Look, I man. Shot. I was like, no. Down to live on the way. Shout out to my whole crew family. AC, what it do? Blessings. Baltimore City, stand up. God, money, war, go get it. Yeah, man. Undergroundradar.com, man. VVCradio.com, man. Damon Blue, man. www.damonblue.com. Get all your merch, get all your music, get everything you need. You might find a thotty on there. We got the thotty page. Go check it out. Say, nah. But, you know what I mean? Thanks for the love. I'm taking over this interview. I'm J1, the supplier, and I'm here with Damon Blue. We out. We out. Five top rappers. Damon Blue, Damon Blue, Damon Blue. Yeah, man. You got to do the yeah, man. Yeah, man. What the fuck you want me to Appreciate you, my nigga. August the 5th, nigga. Don't be bullshit. All right.